And so we begin the men's minus 63 gold medal contest. Reza Naderian of Iran against Yom Kyo Sup of Korea. And Reza Naderian, as we see there in blue, himself an experienced campaigner, participant in the 2008 Olympic Games against Yom Kyo Sup of South Korea. Only the second male to advance to a final here, almost unheard of. And we're expecting a great match, and I'm delighted to be able to welcome Mr. Herbert Perez, two times Pan American champion, World Cup champion, Olympic champion, and numerous other titles to boot. Herb, delighted to have you. Well, thanks for having me. It's going to be an excellent fight. These guys are really tremendous competitors, and they've had a great day of competition. Absolutely, and as we can see, Reza of Iran in blue, maybe slightly longer legs than his can. Korean opponent? Well, he does, you know, but he really does know how to use his height, and the Korean really has been aggressive all day and knows how to close the distance and shut off his opponent's attack. But more importantly, he's a very, very strong fighter with a tremendous spirit. Absolutely. And we can see that. It might look to the viewers at home as if, oh, they're not doing anything here, but to stand at that distance against someone that's trained to kick you in the face, it takes a lot of composure. Well, listen, these guys are really one of our best weight divisions. It's very quick and very powerful, so... At the end of every technique is a potential for a knockout, so that's why they're so tender. This is not just about points, this is about damage and pain. Absolutely, you've got to be sure. You have to pick the right technique from the right distance. A cagey start to this match, both athletes looking for that space. And as you mentioned before, the Korean athlete as you, well, has the left foot behind, trying to use that because the sensors are on the front of the body. Sure. I mean, that's one of the challenges today. All the competitors are experienced. They have this new chest protector, which scores certain points and doesn't score other points. Now, he went out of bounds. That's going to cost him a half a deduction, but it's not really going to cost him anything just yet. So it's 1-0 for Korea. Yep, Korea scoring a nice shot underneath. Despite stepping out of the ring, he won't mind that at all, as long as he can maintain that. And unusual to see the Koreans employing a kind of crouching style. Well, Usually you know, they're quite angular in, in movement yeah. and so on. Well, that's, I think that's a product of the chest protector. So with this new electronic chest protector, you have to really redesign the way that you kick if you want to score points. The only short point you're going to have is if you kick somebody in the face. Sure. So what you're going to see here are a lot of athletes taking that chance because they want that new three-point rule for the face. Absolutely. And you would involve yourself in that process. Both you know, gentlemen at 1-0. To Iran, excuse me, to Korea. Well, I'm sure they're going back to their corners now. for too long, then it's going to be a tied game at one each. Reza takes the initiative. And he gets power the power right. That's a big point. That's going to be that meant a lot for him. Now. now he really is going to be a little bit more re-energized. He knows that he can throw that right leg and it's actually going to score. Absolutely. So important to get the points on the board early. Give yourself some confidence. Subdue your opponent. Now, now we've got that minus point for Korea. That's really going to cost him. Now it's a point up for Iran. The challenge now is going to be can Korea do what he's just trying to do there, which is score a face point, he gets it. Now it's 4-2 for Sup. So. And we have a video replay action called for by the Iranian coach. Another initiative of the WTF. And what do you think about that system? Well, you know, I serve on the video replay committee, and it's really a tremendous function, because what happens now, rather than going to an arbitration or a protest, you can go right to our, in real time and look at the video and see whether the technique was valid or invalid. So the video is going to come in now. What's going to happen are two people, one an international referee and the other one from the competition supervisory board, usually an athlete with a lot of stature and ability and history. In this case, one of, the, one of our better, better coaches and referees is going to look at the videotape. They're going to try to determine whether, in fact, that kick did hit the face. Because the complaint is that the kick did not hit the face. Yeah. One of the challenges, though, is going to be the camera system. They have two cameras, luckily, and they're going to look at that to see if either of those cameras can show whether or not the kick actually touched the face. If it does, the score stands 4-2, to two, giving Korea the head to lead. Here we go. No, that's on the shoulder. That's on the shoulder. Now, I'm pretty sure that when you look at that on the video, what you're going to see is that hit the shoulder. If it had hit the neck, then that would have been a point, but it's only the shoulder. 
So I think the video is going to stand. Yep, I think Zhao Lei of China, the senior referee that you mentioned, we see the card being pocketed. And there it goes. That is the That's video protest. Back. back two to one. And has the scoreline been changed? The score hasn't been changed. They have to change the score. So I wonder if the sharp eye amongst yeah. the committee will notice that. But we continue. And the Iranian athlete looking for the opportunity to score underneath. And as we approach the in fact, there's the end of this round. It's 4-2 to Korea. And we await to see what will happen next. Will a Kyungo make a difference here, do you think, Herb? Well, you know, it at least would bring him within one point, then he'll only need one point to tie. So what I would be working for is to push the guy out of bounds, get him called for grabbing, and I think he might get called for grabbing here. Is the center referee brave enough to do it? No, no. he lets it pass. The Koreans haven't enjoyed the best of competitions here. Are we seeing some redress being given here with very limited time Just left? two seconds, and that's the match, and that's your new world champion running out of bounds. And I think we can hear the reaction of the crowd. And amused. The Korean athlete has done nothing wrong. There's no stain on his name. And as we end this contest, it's Young Hill Sup of South Korea. As the 2009 world champion, it just remains for me to say thank you to him for this. Thank you, sir. It was my pleasure. And it's uh, nice to see another world champion.